Hi viewers, today in this tutorial we will learn about jQuery. These are the topics that we will cover today. What is jQuery? How to access and use jQuery library? Basic jQuery syntax. Now, first of all, let us understand what is jQuery. jQuery is a JavaScript library which makes using JavaScript a lot easier jQuery is basically a single .js file that contains all the JavaScript functions that we can make use of in our code. Using jQuery, you have the advantage of writing less and doing more. You can perform tasks easily and in much less time with jQuery as compared to JavaScript because you have to write less code and thus you type save time now let us see how you can access and use jQuery library there are two ways you can do so the first is that you can download jQuery library from jQuery.com or you can use jQuery directly from a CDN CDN is content delivery network CDN is a service provided by companies like Google and Microsoft. They host jQuery library. If you are downloading jQuery library, then you can download either uncompressed or minimized version of jQuery library. Uncompressed versions are basically used during development and minimized versions are used when the application runs in production environment let us practically see how you can do this if you need to download jQuery library go to jQuery.com where you can see there's a link to download jQuery just click it to take you to a page where you, you have several options to choose from I personally downloaded both these uh, compressed and uncompressed jQuery libraries after downloading you will have these two files on your system one is jQuery 3.1.1.js this is an uncompressed version of jQuery library the other version, the minimized or compressed production version is jQuery 3.1.1.min.js. Now, after downloading these files, place them, place them in the same directory as your file, as your HTML file that needs to use these files. And you can refer to these files uh, like this. Just open it with a notepad or any other editor. Then in the script tag of your HTML, just <coughs> mention it in the source attribute. By doing so, you will be able to use jQuery in your code like like I've done here if you don't write if you don't refer jQuery library here you will not be able to use this code I, I have used the compressed version of jQuery library so this was uh, when you download jQuery library now if you need to use the CDN directly then you can just mention these URLs in the source attribute. This the, the, the first URL is is the Google CDN URL. The second one is the Microsoft jQuery CDN. You can use either of them. 
there is an advantage to using a CDN. That is, if if the user has already visited a site that uses jQuery library, then it will load the library from the cache memory. Now let's see the basic jQuery syntax. We use jQuery to access the HTML elements and perform actions on them. So the basic syntax is you use a dollar sign that represents the jQuery library and then in the parentheses you, you mention the selector. Selector selects a particular HTML element and then the action performs the action on it. So I hope you like this tutorial. In the next tutorial we will touch upon selector and action and see how they work. If you like this video then please subscribe. Thank you.